in 2008, I started going to a TAFE course at night time, doing welding courses, and I really enjoyed it. So I looked up some ideas and a school-based apprenticeship seemed like the best option. I think the fact that you could finish year 11 and 12 while starting an apprenticeship was unbeatable. My parents were the main support. They helped me organise it and informed me on what I should do. I had heaps of support from the ARGTS about what the job involves and if I'd enjoy it. My first day at JC Barco was a bit nervous, so I'd never done this job before. Didn't really know what to expect, but the guys were really good here. They broke the ice, made a few jokes when I first got here and really made me feel involved and got me straight into doing something. First day we had our induction and uh, they went over everything then thoroughly. I did a lot of just watching the tradesmen work and going around with them before I started really getting hands on. The first thing I probably learnt was how to use a grinder and drill and just probably reading basic drawings. I got to do a lot of that. There's been a lot of people that just offer their time without complaint to help you. Keith's been really supportive. He always makes sure that our tape works there and if there's anything we want or need, he's on top of it. Things I do from day to day are welding and grinding, uh, drilling, general sheet metal fabrication. The thing I most like doing is TIG welding. I've always loved it since I started doing it at night tape. It's my favourite type of welding and I'd love to do it every chance I get. Get a sense of accomplishment when you do a good weld. The hardest thing to do is trying to balance the workload because it can get pretty hectic with going to work, doing the TAFE work and then doing the school work. Yeah, you just got to be very organised. My AIGTS training consultant is Cheryl Arnott. She really does a lot of work for us and makes sure we get what we deserve and also makes sure we're doing the right thing by our host company. She keeps up to date with all the tape work and makes sure we're not falling behind. If we are, she'll talk to us and organise the time to meet up and work out how we get through things. I got put in for a school-based apprentice of the year in Victoria this year and I had to go up and do an interview when I got picked in the final four. And then I went up to the awards night in September and won the award for school-based apprentice of the year. And then I got to go up to Sydney for the national awards for a week and meet all the other winners from up there. I've been rowing since I was about 12 or 13 years old. In 2008 and 2009, I rode at the national championships. Came fifth in two different events both years, so I couldn't quite get up there, but it was an experience. And I also won the Emma George Sporting Scholarship in January 2009. When I finished my apprenticeship, I want to look at doing a draftsman's course to, with CAD drawing to become a draftsman. I've just recently completed drawing modules at TAFE in this last year, which has given me a head start for next year at TAFE. When I finish school, I'm already going into my second year of my apprenticeship and I'm getting paid and making a head start on my apprenticeship and I'll be 20 and I'll be finished. When I first started, I was just a young kid, really. I was only 15 years old. I think I've matured a lot more in my job. I've really grown up in the last two or three years.